الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم ایم ورکنگ از دیب آپس انجینئر ان مائی پریویس ویڈیو ایم ایم شون یو گائز دیٹ ہاو یو کن کوئکلی لانچ یوریکا سرور ان ڈاکر کنٹینر بکاوز ایم 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 But now in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build those images so you can able to push to AWS ECR or any private registry so you can deploy those in production. So let's begin. So this is already running uh, Eureka server in Docker container. So I've shown you guys how quickly you can build and set up this ser service discovery uh, server by Netflix Eureka. So uh, this is running here. What I'm going to do, you see, I've launched uh, one instance. I'm going to use Docker Hub so for testing and learning. It's the best place. Docker is already installed. It is free. You can use the compute resources for four hours. So I recommend to use that. And that's why I'm showing you in my videos the, the most convenient, free and easy to learn ways and tricks and tips that makes you and deploy the stuff quickly and easily so uh, let's begin so uh, I will provide you the link of this repository so uh, navigate to the Eureka server and in the steps section I've also provided the useful links uh, with regard to that but you don't have to uh, you know do all the stuff so I'm going to show you all the steps so uh, we are going to follow the step number one is to navigate to this uh, link and we are going to build our Eureka server. So I'm going to call this Eureka Eureka test server. Okay. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So okay. And just remove this and if you want to give this um, any description creating your server in docker so uh, add dependency search eureka i'm going to select server and simply we are going to uh, by default this is going to select the jar and 2.33 is the stable version I'm going to generate this uh, zip file and I'm going to simply navigate to my download section open this URL and I will bring this URL to my desktop for your convenience and I'm going to push this to my docker hub uh, sorry play with docker uh, instance which i've launched so i'm going to simply copy this and uh, copy this link and i'm going to open my git bash so simply copy this cd to desktop let me zoom in a bit for you guys copy this uh, link and what i'm going to do i'm going to do scp uh, to this guy and Eureka server colon tilt and this uh, will uh, I mean copy this particular zip to the to this uh, EC2 uh, sorry uh, to this free doc uh, play with docker instance so I'm going to unzip everything by default is there so we have unzipped it so now we are going to follow uh, our next step but a little mistake from my side I'm going to remove all the stuff which I forget it so this mistake is that I'm going to extract it here and I'm going to open my editor you can open any editor and I'm going to remove this or simply put it in a folder 
hold okay so uh, what I'm going to do is to open my IntelliJ idea if you have Visual Studio you can use that as well we are going to make little change and uh, those changes I've already uh, shown you guys what changes are required and we are going to make uh, two changes uh, which is uh, in the application.java and the application.properties so uh, simply open it and I'm going to navigate to my desktop Eureka server okay let it open okay so our project is open uh, in the in the IntelliJ idea and now what we are going to do is to simply uh, uh, do some editing stuff and okay so uh, this is my project uh, what I'm going to do is to navigate to the source main Java and I'm going to um, add this edit this Eureka uh, server application and I want to show you that the other edit is going to be done in application dot properties so you don't have to worry I mean everything is there you have to simply copy paste the stuff so I'm going to remove the existing stuff from import and simply uh, copy these lines from import to Eureka server to make this uh, Eureka server you have to add these annotations and simply copy paste those and uh, this is done so as far as the application dot properties uh, these are the uh, uh, the <coughs> excuse me these are the uh, port default port which we are going to use Eureka client registration with Eureka is set to false Eureka client dot fetch registry is set to false which means that you don't want uh, Eureka to register uh, itself so uh, these settings are set to false so i'm going to paste it here so everything is done now what i'm going to do is to simply make a zip of it and i'm going to do the previous step which i've done so i'm going to do the same step again simply use that particular command and this zip is going to be pushed to that uh, instance and do ls here unzip it okay and now uh, we are going to follow the uh, step number I'm, I'm not going to go uh, to these explanation because the video length is going to be big so you can read all this stuff so I'm going to uh, do this which is the maven build and we are going to create a jar file here so if i do ls uh, you will see uh, the directory eureka server i'm going to paste it and i'm going to just edit this i want to provide this uh, a name so simply i'm going to provide the directory name of eureka server where it can uh, run this um, latest image of maven to make this uh, eureka server to make this uh, um, jar file so let's let it run 
so it is now pulling the latest image of maven uh, once it's done it's gonna create a jar file once it's done uh, i'm going to show you the next step so you see guys um, if you don't have any aws you don't have anything to create the stuff you want to learn if you want to deploy the stuff and if you want to test the stuff so you can do it for free there is a free compute resource live with docker i've already made a lot of videos with regard to this and shown you guys how you can use this free platform to deploy the stuff uh, to deploy the stuff quickly and in efficiently and do the testing for self um, for yourself and it is going to be really easy so let it run uh, once the build is successful everything we have uh, the changes we have made right everything is going to be uh, okay and build is going to be successful then we will uh, follow the next step so guys uh, as i told you this eureka server is already running this video is with regard to the creation of of building that particular uh, docker image for the eureka server so uh, this part is done now what i'm going to do is to create a one docker file and i want to show you guys so um, what i'm going to do is to create a directory here uh, make the docker and cd into that docker okay so i'm going to create one directory here as well target okay i'm going to create one docker file in the pwd i'm in the docker directory and do vim docker file and i'm going to do shift insert or insert okay press i for insert for copy paste i'm going to do shift insert and our code is ins inserted so what i'm doing here i will show you guys so what i'm going to do is to simply um, cd navigate to my root directory and i'm going to uh, copy the jar file which is located in the eureka server which we have created and i know the uh, location in the target and if i tab eureka this is the jar file and i'm going to copy this to the root docker target and i'm going to simply uh, name this eureka server dot jar because in my docker file i've uh, called this eureka server dot jar so it is gonna look for this particular guy and if i do ls i'm going to do a cd into docker so this is our jar file located here i'm going to do docker build so it is going to build this image and i'm going to do docker images uh, i'm going to tag this uh, image okay and i'm going to tag this to the one i'm looking for so I'm going to call this guy uh, Eureka server okay and simply once your image is built you what you have to do is to simply push that particular image to your uh, repository so this is the way you can create the docker image of the Eureka server if I do docker images so it would be really easier next time for you guys to spin up the eureka server so i'm going to launch uh, i'm going to create this network why i'm creating this network let's suppose i'm going to launch any service in this docker custom network it will be uh, quite easy definitely it is going to work for the service discovery uh, uh, i can use the uh, dns name by using the container name so i'm able to call this eureka server so i'm able to access uh, this particular server which we have created so in next video i'm going to show you uh, the service registry as well so we are going to create that particular service in docker as well so uh,
let's try to run it and hopefully our server is going to be up and running okay so no uh, it is going to pull from QuickBooks okay let's uh, let's remove it I just copy that uh, we don't need that docker remove hyphen f uh, remove any container here okay so um, what I'm going to do is to call this previous command I'm going to uh, I giving I, I've given the name uh, to that particular image is Eureka the server so it's going to be the latest which is currently uh, living on our host so you see it is now not pulling any uh, image and let's try to check whether it is running or not let uh, let's try to access this and everything if everything is go working fine we will be able to see our image so what we are going to do is to simply do docker logs hyphen f so you have to wait for a while let the service run and i'm going to copy this um, and eureka server is now up and running i simply refresh it so you will see eureka server in a while so this is how you can build the image uh, of the Eureka server, I've shown you guys every step, even the build uh, through Maven as well. So uh, instead of using your local compute storage, if you don't have powerful laptops, computer, you can use the power of Docker to even in, use the Maven build and create jar files instead of installing the heavy software in your laptop. Uh, you can use the stuff which is already freely available and use that compute power and it is really helpful for your learning stuff as well so guys if you play, uh, if you have liked the video please like share and subscribe in my later videos i'm going to show you how we can create a service in uh, eureka service and that particular service is going to be registered with our eureka server and um, it is that is going to be also pretty easy and we are going to build that from scratch in docker thank you have a nice day